This is the story of Blinky Bill and Flap and Nazi too. And Wombo, Ruff and Marcia and Splodge the Kangaroo. Now they all lived in Green Patch Town as happy as can be. With friends and neighbours all around, the same as you and me. But then one dark and gloomy night, when all the bush was still, some bandits came and stole the trees to feed their wood chip mill. And when at last the morning came, the timber trucks moved on. And there where Green Patch used to be, the little town was gone. Hey, hey, Blinky Bill, save us from that wood chip mill. If you don't do it, no one will. Good old Blinky Bill. Hey, hey, Blinky Bill, get in there and fight until we're safely back on Green Patch Hill. Good old Blinky Bill. So come and see what happens next to Blinky and his friends. But ten to one, you'll never guess the way the story ends. Watch Blinky help to save the bush and replant every tree. So come on, we'll rebuild the town. Just you watch and see. Hey, hey, Blinky Bill, save us from that wood chip mill. If you don't do it, no one will. Good old Blinky Bill. Hey, hey, Blinky Bill, get in there and fight until we're safely back on Green Patch Hill. Good old Blinky Bill. Save us from that wood chip mill If you don't do it, no one will Good old Blinky Bill Hey, hey, Blinky Bill Get in there and fight until we're safely back on Green Patch Hill Good old Blinky Bill Good on you, Blinky! Hi, I'm Paul I'm a great friend of Blinky Bill And I also know Splodge, Flap, Nutsy and... Pretty much all the gang in Greenpatch. Have you ever wondered what Greenpatch was like before Blinky lived there? Well, here's a wombat who's old enough to know. Can you guess who it is? That's right. It's good old Wombo. In the good old days of Greenpatch... Life was always slow. People had time to think and play, and time to say hello. There was time to do the laundry. There was time to read a book. Time to tell a story. And time to sew and cook. We'd go swimming in the river and help Platypus build a wall. And even if it took all day long, well, no one cared at all. No one ran around or hurried. They all just walked about. It's hard to believe it, Blinky Bill, but I was the fastest wombat in town. So things were fine in Greenpatch. Things were fine until a mean old man ran into town shouting gold dust in them hills. Then everyone in Greenpatch rushed around to get all the gold that they could find. And they haven't stopped racing yet. They were searching in the hillsides, panning in the streams, digging holes from east to west, all looking for their dreams. They never stop to say hello. <laughs> they wouldn't even chat. They didn't have time to read or play or time for this and that. They just searched for gold all day and night. They'd hardly even sleep. All they did was dig for gold as much as they could keep. But now our town has quietened down. The gold has all been found. 
There's nothing left in Green Patch Hills. There's nothing in the ground. So things are fine in Green Patch. Life again is nice and slow. People have time to think and play and time to say hello. There's time to do the laundry. Time to read a book. Time to tell that story. And time to sew and cook. We go swimming in the river and play around all day. Cause Green Patch is our home sweet home. Why not visit us one sunny day? Wombo remembers everything that goes on in Green Patch, especially the time Blinky Bill thought he was a great detective. Do you know that story? Splodge certainly does. There's something going on around here. Someone stole the show. How could that be? It seems to me it was here not long ago. It's lucky that you called me. The first thing we must do is run around in circles to try and find a clue. Or do. Just come when there is trouble. I'll be there in a tick. A flick. I'm Blinky the Detective. I never miss a trick. It's awfully extraordinary how clever I can be. Wilson. I'll solve the crime and catch the thief. Just leave it up to me. My dear, it's elementary. A simple case to crack. Now don't come to conclusions, you'll fall flat on your back. They think that they can outwit me. They've left no evidence. How do you know we stole the show, they'll say in self-defence? <laughs> Just call when there is trouble. I'll be there in a tick. A flick? I'm Blinky the detective. I never miss a trick. It's awfully extraordinary how clever I can be. Wilson! I'll solve the crime and catch the thief. Just leave it up to me. We need to find a suspect. To clear up this confusion. With telescope and microscope. Binoculars and periscope. We'll sort out this confusion. Ha ha, by George, I think I've got it. It now appears to me... How could that be? You couldn't see the forest from the tree. The show was never missing. You're evidence of that. I've cracked the case, I've got our man. Oh, I think I smell a rat. Just call when there is trouble. I'll be there in a tick. A flip. I'm Blinky the detective. I never miss a trick. It's awfully extraordinary how clever I can be. Wilson. I'll solve the crime and catch the thief. Just leave it up to me. I'll solve the crime and catch the thief. Blinky Bill, that's me. That's him all right. But if Blinky Bill is such a great detective, why can he never seem to find his homework? Although, to be fair, Blinky did once solve the case of the devious Dingo. Remember when Danny Dingo disguised himself as a magician? Why don't I kick the story off? Ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, and koalas, and the kingers, and kangaroos, and everyone else, gather round for the most extraordinary magical show Green Patch has Magician, as he amazes and astounds you. Never before have you seen such trickery and treachery. Under one roof for just two dollars. Okay, four. All right, make it six. So step right up for mystery of mayhem. Mystery, mayhem, and magic. I'm the magician from far, far away. I 
I'll set up my show. And I want you to know that I'm definitely here to stay. Mystery, mayhem, and magic. I'll make with the shake of my wand. I've a three-cornered hat and a magical cat and a toad that I pinched from the palm. So hex, tex, gobble, deflex, I'll turn all your fingers to toes. I'll make all the hair on your head disappear and I'll put a great wart on your nose. Hex, tex, gobble, deflex, just watch and you'll see a great show. I'm the greatest magician, not some apparition, so gather round, here we go. Mystery, mayhem, and magic. I delight in all manner of tricks. So pay at the door, two dollars or four. But I bet that I'll get more than six. Mystery, mayhem, and magic. Oh, you should see all the tricks I can do. Disappear in a flash, then run off with your cash. I don't steal, I just borrow from you. So hex. Dex, gobble, deflex, I'll turn all your fingers to toes. I'll make all the hair on your head disappear, and I'll put a great wart on your nose. Hex, tex, gobble, deflex, just watch and you'll see a great show. I'm the greatest magician, not some apparition, so gather round, here we go. Mystery, mayhem, and magic. I'll pull Mrs. Rabbit out of my hat. And then if you cheer, I'll make balls disappear. I'll bet you can't do that, hmm? Mystery, mayhem, and magic. Oh, you'll wish that I never appeared. I'll saw you in half, and I'll laugh, and I'll laugh. I'm admired, and yet I am feared. Oh, hex. Tex, gobble, deflex, I'll turn all your fingers to toes. I'll make all the hair on your head disappear, and I'll put a great wart on your nose. Hex, tex, gobble, deflex, just watch and you'll see a great show. I'm the greatest magician, not some apparition, so gather round, here we go. So hex, tex, gobble, deflex, I'll turn all your fingers to toes. I'll make all the hair on your head disappear, and I'll put a great wart on your nose. Hex, tex, gobble, deflex, just watch and you'll see a great show. I'm the greatest magician, not some apparition, so gather round, here we go. So gather round here, here we go. <laughs> oh, that Danny is always giving Blinky a pretty hard time. But Blinky usually wins out in the end. Someone who did get the better of Blinky, though, was his teacher, Miss Magpie. And she did that by simply letting Blinky teach for a day. Of Blinky's chance to try that most difficult task in class Where it's you that must decide those who'll fail and those who'll pass So he tried some mathematics to see who could count fastest But he forgot which end to start with, the smallest or the largest Is it 54321 or 12345? Oh, teaching must be easier than this It always seemed that way, we learn without delay Yes, teaching must be easier than this When Miss Magpie taught us every day, we learn without delay Next he thought he'd do some sport So he made the class run round and round No sooner had they started, when they all tripped to the ground his head and tried once more to throw some balls. I'm sure we can. In all directions, then they flew and fell in the mouth of their pelican. Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh, <blinky. laughs> Teaching must be easier than this. Oh, it always seemed that way. We learned without delay. Yes, teaching must be easier than this. 
success. When Miss Magpie taught us every day, we learned without delay. So after trying to teach the class, young Blinky was made to realise that teaching just was not his job and this was not a big surprise. In the end, you must agree, you surely must be taught to teach. So come back please, Miss Magpie, and an apple will give you each. Oh, come on, come on, Miss Magpie. Come back, Miss Magpie, please. Oh, teaching must be easier than this. It always seemed that way. We learn without delay. Yes, teaching must be easier than this. When Miss Magpie taught us every day, we learned without delay. Oh, teaching must be easier than this. It always seemed that way. We learn without delay. Yes, teaching must be easier than this. When Miss Magpie taught us every day, we learned without delay. When Miss Magpie taught us every day, we learned. Can't teach at all. Oh boy, I didn't think teaching would be so hard. You're a terrible teacher, Blinky. Help us, Matt Boy. I don't want to be a teacher anymore. Good, because we don't want you to teach us no more either. Does that mean we'll still have to go to school? Of course it does, Matt, you silly platypus. Oh, it didn't hurt to ask. <laughs> it looks like Blinky wasn't the only one who learned from that teaching experience. But one lesson that's very important for everyone to learn is when you go bushwalking, take great care or you could end up like the little girl who got lost for a while. Luckily, she had a song to keep her company till she was found. I am all alone I'm searching for my home I wandered just a little way And now I'm on my own I wish that you were near What strange voices I can hear The night falls quick, the stars are bright It's darkness that I fear I wish that I was home I'm feeling so alone I must go on I'll sing this song Until I find my home There's no one here to care No loving hands to share I miss my ma I miss my pa I miss my teddy bear I'll make a place to stay To chase the blues away These autumn leaves will cover me I'll use them if I may I wish that I was home I'm feeling so alone I must go on I'll sing this song Until I find my home I'll close my eyes and see my home in front of me The fire's warm My bed is soft The way that it should be I'll say my prayers at night I wish with all my might That while I sleep The angels keep me safe Till morning Though I'm on my own I'll never feel alone My song will be a friend for me I'll find my own way home Of course, Blinky and his friends helped her find her way home. Now here is a riddle for you. What sort of animal's belly can hold a pelican? 
Mayor Pelican wasn't too happy when he found out the answer the hard way. I thought a cat would eat much the same as me. I thought we both enjoyed some fishes from the sea. But here they come, they're after me. A bird to eat? I disagree. It's plain as plain can be. Oh, they want to eat me. It's quite insanely silly. That line about us pelicans, you know it can't be right. That our beaks hold what our belly can. Now something's wrong, it's just not fair. Who would eat the green patch mare? It's plain as plain can be. Oh, they want to eat me. A cat is meant to purr, but something's not quite right. These ones want to eat me. Oh, they give me such a fright. These cats must learn a lesson. So help me, Blinky Bill. A cat can't eat a pelican. I'd surely make them ill. This is not much fun. It's really quite a pain. This running from the cats is driving me insane. They're chasing me right up the coast. Oh, where's Blinky when I need him most? It's plain as plain can be. They want to eat me. A cat is meant to purr, but something is not quite right. These ones want to eat me. Oh, they give me such a fright. These cats must learn a lesson. So help me, Blinky Bill. A cat can't eat a pelican. I'd surely make them ill. Oh, Blinky, glad you're here. You saved me from my fate. Now I'll no longer be <laughs> a mare on a plate. <laughs> you saved me, Bill, from the grill. Oh, thank you, Blinky, what a thrill. It's plain as plain can be. The cats now won't eat me. Thank you, Blinker. Oh, let me hug you. Oh, where's he gone? <laughs> that Mayor Pelican's quite a character, isn't he? Another Green Patch character is old Granny Koala, who's still very busy around town, even though she's pushing, well, nearly 16 or 17 years old. Koala years, of course. She didn't get very far, though, the time she lost her glasses. <laughs> when Granny's good old glasses broke, she could not see a thing. She couldn't find a needle, let alone her wedding ring. She couldn't knit a jumper now, and even if she did, it would end up being quite a laugh, looking like a squid. <laughs> Granny's lost her glasses, she can't see a thing. She is so short sighted that she thinks my hair is string. Granny's lost her glasses, she can't see at all. Now she's no fun, can't play or run or even catch a ball. When it came to mending things like a broken chair, we handed her a broken saw, she didn't seem to care. When we came back to check the work to see if she was able, the chair that Granny tried to fix, it now looked like a table. <laughs> Granny's lost her glasses, she can't see a thing. She is so short-sighted that she thinks my hair is string. Granny's lost her glasses, she can't see at all. Now she's no fun, can't play or run or even catch a ball. When Granny forgot our glasses broke, boy, we had some fun. We played all sorts of tricks on her, we kept her on the run. There's no way she could catch a fool, we didn't mean no harm. Although it did appear to cause old Granny some alarm. Granny lost her glasses. She can't see a thing. She is so short-sighted that she thinks my hair is string. Granny lost her glasses. She can't see at all. Now she's no fun, can't play or run or even catch a ball. She couldn't change a light bulb or mend things round the house. She couldn't even wash her clothes or even catch a mouse. <laughs> some glasses so she'll see her again. We'll give her all our money now. Oh, I think that I've got ten. We'll help her buy a brand new pair. Will do, 
here's some helpful deeds. So my gran can see and read to me. We'll buy the specs she needs. Yes, I've got new glasses now. I see everything. I read stories through the day and some in the evening. Yes, I've got new glasses now. Let's all shout hooray! Because now, now the gran can see again. She'll play with us all day. Yes, now the gran can see again. She'll play with us all <laughs> Good on you, Granny. We all need someone's help from time to time, even Blinky Bill. And one thing we should definitely not try to do without lots of grown-up help is fight a bushfire. That's why Blinky Bill organised Green Patch's first fire brigade. Is that crackling that I feel? Oh, what's that heat that I can feel? I think it's getting closer. What's that smell that's up my nose? Oh, shut up. Flap and get the hose. There's fire up in Green Patch Hills. Come on, here we go. To load up the fire truck, we'll beat this thing with any luck. We'll save the bush from all the flames. Come on, give us a hand. To load up the fire truck. Help me, Flap. I think I'm stuck. Come on, Splotch. Gonna drown a muck. Let's go lend a hand. Keep that water pumping. The flames are jumping. We've got to save our green patch. We've got to save our home. The fire's quite enormous. I can't wait for the chorus. Pass the water. Get those flames. Come on, here we go. So load up the fire truck. We'll beat this thing with any luck. We'll save the bush from all the flames. Come on, lend a hand. So load up the fire truck. Get that possum. Save that duck. Come on, Flap, don't run a muck. Let's go lend a hand. Everybody's doing fine. I think this fire's beat this time. The trees are black, but they'll grow back. Hooray, the fire's gone. The forest is a living thing. You'll see new flowers out next spring. We must take care of all the trees. Hooray, the fire's gone. So load up the fire truck. Well done, the Green Patch Fire Brigade. And if bushfires aren't scary enough, sometimes Blinky Bill likes to try to scare his friends with his favourite ghost stories. Sometimes he even scares himself. But he's only joking. <laughs> What is scarier than a hound dog whose favorite dish is a rabbit stew? What comes hunting in the dead of night? Who wants to give you a great big fright? The ghost of the cave, that's who. Ooh, the ghost of the cave is waiting for you in the dark, in the gloom. He's waiting to meet you very Ooh, who is sneakier than the sneakiest fox Hiding in the forest and under rocks What comes a-hunting in the dead of night Who wants to give you a great big fright The ghost of the cave, that's who Boo! The ghost of the cave is waiting for you In the dark, in the gloom He's waiting to meet you Watch out, there's ghosties all about. Watch out, don't make a sound. There's ghosties all around. Who do you begin to detect when the hair stands up on the back of your neck? Who's still there though you can't see? Who appears 
so suddenly The ghost of the cave, that's who Ooh, The ghost of the cave is waiting for you In the dark, in the gloom He's waiting to meet you very soon Watch out, watch out There's ghosties all about Watch out don't make a sound. There's ghosties all around. Watch out. Watch out. There's ghosties all about. Watch out. Look over there. There's ghosties everywhere. <laughs> Oh, we know they're not real, don't we? But here's a story that will really chill your blood. Politics comes to green patch. Of course, some politicians' promises can sound very tempting. But why would anyone vote for Danny Dingo? Especially after they've heard his campaign song. Everybody, give me a break. You know that I'm a guy that you all love to hate. I've been a bad guy, but bad guys can be good if they give them some love and not misunderstood. So come on, everybody, vote for me, Danny Dingo. I mightn't be the best, but hey, I sure know all the lingo. I'm cunning and I'm crafty, that's exactly what you need. Someone to protect you all from people like me. Remember when your chocolate was just about to melt? I came to the rescue, yeah, I was there to help. Sure, I kept a lot of the chocolate for myself, but that was cause I needed all the chocolate for my health. So come on, everybody, vote for me, Danny Dingo. I mightn't be the best, but hey, I sure know all the lingo. I'm cunning and I'm crafty, it's exactly what you need. Someone to protect you all from people like me. Remember when you searched around and found all that gold? Who was there to help you, to help you unload? I just couldn't help it if the gold got stuck Right inside my pocket, well, that's just good luck So come on everybody, vote for me, Danny Dingo I mightn't be the best, but hey, I sure know all the lingo I'm cunning and I'm crafty, that's exactly what you need Someone to protect you all from people like me So come on everybody! I think I've heard election promises like those somewhere before. But haven't we all? A good election promise would be one that had something to say about the environment, especially if it helped to protect a beautiful old tree. Wombo tells the story the best. Where this town used to be, there was an old tree that had magical powers of healing. People came from all round, and all of them found that this tree had a wonderful feeling. Its roots were so strong, its branches so long, this tree was as big as the biggest hill around. It had great big green leaves that blew in the breeze. If you listened, you heard a quite beautiful sound. 
But there came a cruel queen who grew even more mean because her puppies just wouldn't stop howling. And although many tried, the puppies still cried till the queen turned quite green from the growling. So she walked out one day to get far, far away and discovered a glorious sound. It was the magical tree. So she said, that's for me and demanded the tree be cut down. The animals were shocked and the forest was rocked as the magical gum hit the ground. What kind of a person would put such a curse on the noblest eucalypt around? From the heart of this tree, said the royal decree, shall be carved the most fabulous flute. And the flautist shall play at my court right away for my pups. Let there be no dispute. It was done as she wrote, and from the first note, the puppies were instantly moved. Unfortunately, the deers were moved quite to tears which the Queen, of course, hardly approved. Off with his head, she said. So he fled as she summoned her courtiers and pages. But while leaving the scene, he tripped up the Queen and the pups had their first laugh in ages. The flute player ran back to where it began, where the stump of the tree sadly lay. And among the wood chips, he put the flute to his lips and wistfully started to play. As he played his sad song, there gathered a throng of animals silently weeping. But as tears touched the tree, it was wondrous to see new signs of life suddenly leaping. With each splash and drop, there appeared a new crop of leaves and branches and roots. And today it stands tall, a tree there for all, brought to life by the magical flute. Mm, a lovely note to end on there. Maybe even a few magic notes. Well, Blinky and the gang hope you enjoyed their songs and want you all to sing along with their favourite song, Hey Hey Blinky Bill. Are you ready? Nice and loud now? Off we go. This is the story of Blinky Bill and Flap and Nazi too And Wombo, Ruff and Marcia and Splodge the Kangaroo Now they all lived in Green Patch Town as happy as can be With friends and neighbours all around, the same as you and me But then one dark and gloomy night, when all the bush was still Some bandits came and stole the trees to feed their wood chip mill And when at last the morning came, the timber trucks moved on And there where Green Patch used to be, the little town was gone Hey, hey, Blinky Bill, save us from that wood chip mill If you don't do it, no one will, good old Blinky Bill Hey, hey, Blinky Bill, get in there and fight until we're safely back on Green Patch Hill. Good old Blinky Bill. So come and see what happens next to Blinky and his friends. But ten to one you'll never guess the way the story ends. Watch Blinky help to save the bush and replant every tree. So come on, we'll rebuild the town. Just you watch and see. Hey, hey, Blinky Bill, save us from that wood chip mill. If you don't do it, Blinky, no one will. Good old Blinky Bill. 
Hey, hey, Blinky Bill, get in there, son, and fight until we're safely back on Green Patch Hill. Good old Blinky, come on, Blinky. Bill, save us from that wood chip mill. If you don't do it, Blinky, no one will. Good old Blinky Bill. Hey, hey, Blinky Bill, get in there and fight until we're safely back on Green Patch Hill. Good old, good old Blinky, good old.